first thing we're going to do to get this off is to get this uh, guard off of here. Oops, wrong way there. Again, we're using a half inch wrench. You, we are going to be able to put this guard and everything back on to the Predator engine when the time comes because the Predator engine has the same holes on the back for accessory items and bolt-on attachments that most engines need. There we go. So we have a set screw here that's going to be necessary to slide the shaft off there. Let's see if this will even turn. Oop, right there is what's caught up. Alright, so if we can turn this back, there's another set screw there. That's what I was looking for. So two set screws to take this off. Yeah, let's get this out of the way right away. There you go. This belt in the back is a little trickier to release let's take this spring off here oh. all right remember where that goes get the tension off that belt Come on. All right. There we go. All the belts are off. All right, so this uh, will come off by loosening these. that came off a lot easier than I thought it would so all right so here's a hang on to this pulley because you're gonna be using this for the same uh, I put it back on with the Predator engine what we will have to do look at that oh critter um, this is a one inch shaft the Predator engine only has a three-quarter so we will be using um, uh, an adapter so all right let's move on Thank you. 